The reason we are going over numbers is because native speakers will often read them differently than you may have learned in a textbook or in a classroom. And it could be faster and more efficient than you're used to. We use numbers for all kinds of different situations. Counting money, telling time, you name it. It's all kinds of situations. But today I'm going to cover four common situations. Just regular counting, phone numbers, money, and then date and time. Because you will run into these situations probably every day. It's important to know what to do. Okay, so starting with just regular counting, the numbers one through 99 are all the same. One, two, three, four, five, da 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 97, 98, 99, it's the same. But once you hit 100, instead of 100, it's more common to say 100. Or if it's 1,000, it's 1,000, not 1,000. You can say 1,000, but it's slower and then also not as natural. But for the numbers like 200 or 300, there's no cool other way to say it. It's just 200 or 300 or 2,000 or 3,000. I think you get the picture. All right, let's talk about phone numbers. So in America, phone numbers are formatted like this. And although you can read each number separately, like one eight zero zero five 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 four zero 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 it's a lot of work and you can actually just read it more naturally like one eight hundred five 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 four thousand way faster way more natural if you've been watching tv you've probably seen advertisements and the commercials will list the phone number at the bottom and I'll say 1-800, blah, 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 something like that. So here's another example. Let's change the numbers a little bit. So the number is basically the same, except the last four numbers, you can say 4525, or you can just say quickly 4525. So if there's four numbers like that, you can split them into pairs and just say the two numbers separately. Ugh. Coffee break. <sighs> Instant human, just add coffee. Now back to the show. Ooh, okay, here we go. Time for our favorite topic, money. Everyone loves money. So I'm gonna show you how native English speakers will typically read different amounts of money. From one cent to 99 cents, it's all the same. If it's under a dollar, you just say it's one cent, it's two cents, it's 58 cents, it's 98 cents, it's 99 cents. <laughs> but then if it goes over a dollar, like say for this amount, this would look like a dollar 50, you can say, or a buck 50, or even just it's 150. How much is this candy bar? It's 150. But that only works for $1. Uh, if it's $2 and something like like this, you would say 250. You can't say $2.50 or 2 bucks 50. It doesn't work. You can't say that. You can only say 250 or 350 or 450. So, remember the 150 example that I gave? So, once you go over $100, then you can also use that same 150, 175, but instead it actually means $150 here or $175. You just have to know what context you're in. Okay, so now over a thousand dollars. Now what are we supposed to say? So a thousand has four digits. So remember what I did with the phone numbers before? You can split them into pairs. So let's say it's this amount of money. Instead of saying 1,125, you can just say it's 1125. Or this number, it's 2,500 instead of saying 2,500. How much is that camera? Oh, it's $2,500. Or how much is that TV? It's 1125. 
It's real simple, real fast. After 10,000, you have to say all the numbers exactly the standard way. So for instance, this number, 10,241. There's no trick, that's it. You have to say the whole thing. I know it's kind of painful. Now that I'm saying English numbers, it's actually quite difficult. <clears throat> it's much count. It's much faster to count in Chinese or something. Ooh, and if you want some more practice counting money or talking about money, I actually made a video about currency and um, what was it? Oh, cheap versus expensive. So check out that video a little bit later. Oh, all right, here we go. Dates and times. For dates, uh, these are of course important because let's say you're at the doctor's office or you're at the bank or something and they ask for your birthday. This is how uh, Americans would say the dates natively and how they would write them natively. So for this example, I'm gonna use America's birthday, July 4th, 1776. So there are actually a lot of different date formats you can use. This is a really fast date format. And it reads July 4th, 1776, or you can say 74. 76. Also watch out, the format is month, day, year. So I know a lot of countries it's day, month, year, but if you're working with the US, remember they put the month first for some reason, I don't know why. Okay, so let's say your birthday is May 8th, 1992. You could just say, oh my birthday is 5892. And you don't have to say the 19 part, because, I mean, obviously you're born in 92. You're not gonna be born in 1892. Otherwise you'd be like 130 years old, which, uh, no, obviously. So the US uses a 12 hour clock, which I actually think is pretty idiotic because, you know, if somebody says, hey, we're leaving at 10, well, are we leaving at 10 a.m., 10 p.m., like in the morning or nighttime? Well, I don't know. So it's confusing. All right, so if somebody asks you what time is it, and it's this time, uh, then you can just say, oh, it's 9.30. Or if you want to be even more clear, you can say it's 9.30 a.m. If you do have questions about other situations where you need numbers or you see numbers and you don't know how to pronounce them or you don't know how to read it, just let me know in the comments and I will help you out with that. For phone numbers, <laughs> I never say this, but I would actually recommend watching advertisements because they will list the phone number at the bottom and then you can see what it's supposed to look like and also how to pronounce it. How do they say the number? How do they read the number? For money, just listen to the cashier when you're buying something. They will say it in a really fast native way and then Remember that so that you can say it in that fast, native way. All right, that's all for today. See you later, alligator. And go Warriors. I hope you guys are better next year. All right, pick one of these two. They're gonna be great. They'll help you learn more English. I know because I made them. <laughs> uh.